Who are you? Who are you? Tristan. Oh. Well, it's funny, we found this kid exactly where um, Brad used to be. Over here. No, I should say. All right, Joe. What are we gonna do? L let's put it this way. I'm in a, you might need to evacuate zone. Danny's in a get the hell out of Dodge zone. They put out a mandatory evac for Danny. Yeah. So, we gotta evacuate Danny. Uh, that's what's going on. We got a hurricane about to hit us. I'm hoping this thing does not hit us and it just turns and it goes the other way. Dude, the hurricane is so crazy. Look at this. You see that? Why are you here, Tristan? Because I have no school for uh, all this week and maybe next week. Why? Because of a hurricane. Holy, yeah, that's it. It's a great time to be a kid. Yeah, bring, bring your kid to after prison show. So... Dave's son's gonna be helping us today. <laughs> Cody is actually on a plane right now going, he's getting out of Dodge. So Tristan's gonna be the cameraman. <laughs> so look, I know they got child labor laws and all that. So just... we just don't pay them. <laughs> if you don't pay them, it's not child labor. All right, we got, we needed some help today. So Dave. And I don't care with it. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it from Tristan, we're good. He said he's okay with it. If you're okay, we're okay. We're not gonna be, we're just kidding. <laughs> but we gotta go We gotta go get with Danny today because Danny literally, his, his apartment's like 100 yards away from the beach. So he is definitely in a mandatory evacuation zone. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta evacuate Danny. And like there's traffic, there's major traffic out here right now. Everybody's going somewhere. I just left from the bank, they're almost out of money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that ain't no good. I got a major charge on my on my on my account that looks like fraud. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. That would be the major thing that we would be dealing with today if it weren't for the hurricane. Should we go to the PO box? Might as well. I mean, what else are we doing? Yeah, trying to figure everything out. We're I mean, we we don't. I mean, today everybody including us is doing this we're like look these people are in their vehicles going um so should, we, should leave? we leave should we go let's just drive around and screw traffic up in the tidewater area i mean it's so bad that they don't even want to slow traffic down all the tolls are have been suspended in the area it is free to get away that's good though and you know, you're gonna be getting out of here. You're gonna be going. You just went and seen probation today. A probate? What did probation? Probate, probation was like, go. I don't care where you go. Just come back. Answer your phone. That's what the PO said. Answer your phone. So uh, if things get a little hairy or fishy, and I don't mean that as a pun. I mean, look at this guy. He's getting away on a bicycle. He's like, yo, it's time to go. It's time to go. He's about to take the bicycle on the interstate. He's getting the heck out of Dodge. Yeah, Dave goes to see his PO. You should just take one of those. <laughs> We're uh, not loot. Tristan, it's not to the point where we can loot yet. You're not, you can't loot things yet. What do they call that? They call it uh, martial law. <laughs> oh, God. Look, this is going to turn into the purge around here is what I'm telling you. <laughs> things are crazy. And I'm sticking it out. You went to probation and they told you, out of any time that they never tell you you can leave, they always tell you you can't go here, you can't go there. All of a sudden today they tell you, I don't, go. I don't care where you go. Go, just answer your phone. What happens, that, that, that's a video idea right there. What happens with probation when it's the end of the world? Dude, I went to my PO today and this guy, random guy, random probation officer, never seen before in my life, comes out the door, he's like, tore it off. I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for Mr. He's like, uh, no, you're not. Uh, he gave me, he gave you to me. And I was thinking to myself, like, damn, I feel like a used foster child. Yeah, you, you just got a sloppy second. But I'll tell you what, man. My new PO, he is, uh, he's super cool, man. He was basically like, look, I'm gonna call you. And the only problem I will have is if you ever get a phone call from me and you don't answer, then you're in trouble. Dang, that means you gotta answer. I mean, I miss phone calls all the time. No, no, he's saying like, 
and then you, you you know I call back within a time limit. But he's saying like like if I miss a meeting, yeah. He's like, if I call you after you miss a meeting or something, answer your phone. We'll work it out. He's like, I'm not here to violate you. It's not why I'm here. All right. Well, that's good. I'm glad that that worked out for you, Dave. I'm glad you got that squared away. And again, you can get out of here. You're, there's a potential you're going to be leaving, and I might just be sticking it out. I was thinking about going and getting the boat, putting it in the driveway, and if things get too bad, hopefully the boat floats. I mean, but you know the crazy thing about it is the truck. A hole in the boat. Yeah, there, there's a leak in the boat. The boat's got the the truck might float better than the boat will. So. Just get a, just get, um, a running start. Get a running start? And For what? With the, if you take the truck and go as fast as you can, you might be able to drive on water. That's what I'm talking about, Tristan. I like your thinking. Tried that Joe, one time before. I was about to say, Joe, how's your record for driving on water? I'm owing one right now. But... <laughs> I'm gonna be trying it again. Looking like the Giants. God. If a lizard can do it, then a boat should be able to. That's what I'm talking it, about. Logic. Logic. So we're gonna go to the P.O. Box real quick just cause we need to game plan. We're gonna call Danny, we're gonna see what's going on with him. I gotta figure out where Danny's gonna go. There was a potential Danny was either gonna be staying with me or with Dave, and now Dave is pretty much out of the question like the Giants in the playoffs. So what I'm saying oh is- Oh my God, dude, I'm about to just throw the camera out the window. We can't do that all day. I threw a shot out there, I tried to Eminem myself, you know, maybe if I did it, I wouldn't, and then you come right with a banger. That was a tough one too. That hurt, like went, knocked the wind out of me. I looked like Matt Stafford last night when he got sandwiched. He was on the ground like this, look. He was on the, he got hit and tried to get up and went. You know my defensive coordinator's thinking to himself, damn I should've stayed in New England because you know that's the new coach. For who? For the, for the Lions. Is y'all's defensive? Oh, the Matt Patricia with the dude yeah. with the beard. Yeah. Oh, that's our old defense. I knew I recognized. I couldn't remember where he came from. He like last year he left. He went and interviewed with him. He said he was taking the job. Then he reneged on it, and he was like, nah, nah, nah. And now he's. I don't know what happened during the offseason. Now he's there. Now he's there. So, off of the football talk, Danny's probably going to be staying with me. I just talked with my wife about it. She's cool about it. But my wife's got super, super duper anxiety. She went through Katrina in Mississippi and like she done shared some stories with me and her dad done shared some stories with me. They had no power for three weeks and they said that joint was like martial law. That It was like the end of the world. People were out there looting. People were out there threatening to come up in the house saying, hey, we know you've got food in that house. We're going to come in there. But my wife's dad, he got a gun. I'm a convicted felon. I can't have me no gun. Joe. I wasn't far from where you live for Isabel, right? We didn't have power for a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. And dude, it got it got crazy, man. I remember riding my bike up the military highway and people were just throwing rocks into the gas station windows and going in and getting food and cigarettes. Look, I'm gonna tell you, I was locked up for Isabel and my dad told me afterwards, because he lived right on the water. He used to live right on the water. He said it flooded so bad up to the back of the house that there was literally a sailboat that was coming straight for the house. And he had to ride out on a damn boogie board to get to the boat and like moor the boat <laughs> oh my in the God. yard. To during stop, the storm? During the storm to stop it from hitting the house. That so, would have been some crazy shit. That would have been crazy. So though that's like insanity right there, that's part of the reason why I'm not leaving. You know, because if something's gonna happen crazy. If a if a boat is about to hit your truck, you wanna be able to swim out and save the truck. Man, we got so much equipment at the crib. We got vehicles at the, you know. You're gonna need to freaking like build a ramp and park the Jeep Oh up. my God, and the bridge is open. This is insanity and it's so backed up. But it is what it is. We're gonna go check out this P.O. box real quick and then we're getting up with Danny. Do 
y'all see this traffic? I knew I should have took the interstate. We're going to the post office. We're definitely worried about the wrong thing here. <laughs> what are we worried about? The wrong thing. We're going to the P.O. box today. You know we rarely ever get over here. We're like, eh, let's do it before the hurricane. See if we get any goodies. This is just me being like having anxiety, not knowing what to do, so. Tristan, what you got over there? Let me see, come here. What you got? What is that? You don't know? Let's go. What number's on the key? Is there a number on the key? 61. 61. Can you reach up there? It's all the way to the top right corner, or left corner. Turn it. Open. Bam! Package. Can you grab that? Is it heavy? Uh, it ain't too you can leave heavy. It Joe, you got anything special up there? Literally every letter is from somebody who's locked up. This is what I wanted the P.O. box to stand for, so. Get your butt in there. Alrighty, Dave's on the phone with Danny. He's just getting off of the phone. <laughs> what happened? What Danny tried to say? Danny was like, uh, I was like, hey, uh, we're on the way to come get you. We're gonna put the moped in the back of the truck. Go ahead and pack a bag up. I said I got my kid with me and, you know, he might come in the apartment you know how he smokes in there. I was like, dude, I was like, I hate to ask you because it's your place, but he, you know, can you stop smoking in there like right now? So like while he's there, he doesn't have no issues. He was like, I'm putting a cigarette out right now, man. That's the baby. So he, he did that. He was like, I want to follow y'all on the moped. This thing will do almost 50. I was like, bro, we're getting on the interstate and we're going to do some things. Just pack a bag. We got the strap. We got the uh, ratchet strap back there. Well, we're definitely going on an adventure. We got to go rescue, evacuate Danny. Danny's going to end up staying with me throughout this hurricane. And it's bad out there. Where he lives at is already flood prone. So we're going to go get Danny. A and bad then, storm. A bad storm leaves you stranded. The other night when it was raining, I went to go see Terry and Devin and the baby. And uh, we had to like go... We, had, we were in my girl's car. We had to like go around and like get in because the water in front of his house was already freaking like this deep from a regular storm. Tell everybody what Danny just told you about the moped. Danny crashed the moped. But he was only going like a few miles an hour. He was turning around in some gravel. He hit the front brakes, which he knew better. We told him. He actually told me he knew better than to do that. And uh, he's kind of banged he up. He laid it down. Yeah, he scraped up his leg. He hit his face a little bit. He scraped up, but he said he got up. It didn't hurt. He just got scratched up. A lot going on, and we got to get on the road right because, now. And the reason why he had to go through the gravel was because he couldn't go through the water. It's crazy. It's crazy. Danny, I was just not enough of him. Oh. All right. Wait, this place looking nice, man. Now you see the moon. You got, TV over there too. you got two TVs in here? Yeah. That's Boy, are you balling. Look at this. Oh, man. This spins out. Yeah, this one's standing. That's where the cup from right here. <laughs> yeah, we saw the moped out there. Damn, damn, you got eight up. Mm hmm. Right here, side of my face. Jesus, man. Yeah, you okay? I hit the ground. Yeah, I just spinned out. What happened? I, I hit the front brakes. I shouldn't have. When did uh, this happen today? Yeah. Yeah. Went off for a spin. Uh. Ow. Well, you gotta be careful, man. You work, man. Yeah. yeah. Tristan, this is Danny. Danny, this is my son. Oh, sure. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Young blood. He's a little miniature he's Danny. Dave. He's looking at tattoos. Wow, look at that. It's all covered. Got tattoos everywhere. Yes. Well, this is gonna be fun loading this and this. Here, Tristan, come here. Come here. I'm putting you to work. Turn around. Can you see this? Yeah. You gotta make sure that you got us on here. You gotta kinda lift it up, Dave. Put the whole thing up, guys. Mm. <laughs> Tristan, come look at the side of this bike. Look at these scratches. Yeah, she got some scratches. You got scratches? It does? A little bit. 
this the light. Ain't nothing but a little wear and tear. The light you can't see it. You know what's crazy? Hey, hey, um when he came in the first thing Dave said, he zoomed in on my leg and my eye. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't put me out like that. <laughs> Danny, it happens to the best of them, man. Oh, man. It happened to me. It's happened to Dave. I hit the front brakes, man. Just, who is it? I tell you what, whatever they did, that tune up is hitting. That tune up, yeah. That, that baby goes. Let it, let yeah, it go. Yeah, he's 50. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Dude, if you could see what I'm seeing with this mirror, with the reflection of the sun right now, it almost looks like. Yeah. I'm just saying you won't need that. If you hook. Dave, good job, man. I just want to tell you, good job. Extra job. <laughs> we got Dave. And he was wrapping up the whole truck. Dave's yeah. son. You know something? I'm going to use you for Christmas package wrapping for real, bro. <laughs> I need you. And we got Danny. Yeah. And we got the moped. Yes, sir. And it's strapped down thanks to Dave. Oh, yeah. Is it going anywhere? Christmas time. Package. Fuck out of here. I'm so hot, I'm like, you know what? Bye. Danny, how you feeling, man? I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Yeah. So I'm okay to look, man. You, what are you? It's hot up, it's crazy. Yeah, you were out there cameramanning. It's crazy how we're having this. Watch out, Cody. Yeah, Danny, how's it feel thinking that, uh, you know, you just got your place and now you got to evacuate? I didn't want to go, you know. It's crazy how the sun is out. It's like 90 degrees and then all of a sudden, and two seconds later, it's going to be a nasty storm where everybody's got to evacuate their area. Especially the coastal line. Yeah, you're right on the beach too, man. Yeah, I didn't want to go, you know. I'm in the... My I'm, sister kept telling me and you and Dave kept telling me I can't be down here. Well, your advice and we'll go with you. Me and Joe were talking about it. Actually, um, if you're in a mandatory zone, they can come get you. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to use the SWAT team. That's what I was about to say. It's gonna be a whole. It's gonna be a whole nother cell extraction video. And that's why we're getting you now. We're gonna get ahead of the storm and ahead of the bull. Yeah, and ahead of any kind of problems. We don't want to see you in no bad situation. Uh, and then you know, had we waited. We might not have been able to get down here. The there show goes the dudes right down. there. Yeah, they're coming down to get ready. I don't know what they're down here for. They must have had a shooting or something because <laughs> ain't no water down here right now. They're coming to post up. Yeah, but you know, you know what the They're gonna say um, a before and after. Ooh. Well, my kid might be on top of things. Did you hear what he said? No, what is that? He said they might be down here to get some footage because they're gonna do a before and after. Look, this is evacuation right here. This is evacuation traffic right here. Yeah. They're all heading north. And this car is trying to cut in. And please get out of my way. Wait, see, what you just did here, that was a real bad thing that you did. You should have waited your turn. Now you're in my way. Now you're in my way. And ain't nobody gonna let you in. They don't need to let you in. See, look, now you need to bust a U-turn and go wait your turn. Ain't no cutting in. Oh, oh, you going. Oh, you, you cheating. Oh, you see, wrong for that. See that? Dude, that's good. That's good. That's that traffic was ridiculous. Did you see it? It was just stopped. So that's good. I'm paying attention to the time. Yeah, man, you ain't gonna cut me in line for my train. There's no traffic in our direction. No, I think it's the opposite way. But look at this. Yeah, you see that? There's no like, traffic this way. Oh my God, look how far yeah, that goes. There's not a car on the road where we're going. <laughs> we on some straight storm chases. I don't know what we're waving at him for, Dave. We're the ones that looking crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Bye. Dude, it's for days, bro. Dude, for days. I've never seen it this backed up. So we got Danny over at the crib, at, <laughs> at the After Prison Show studio, right? And Dave, man, what'd you do, Dave? I get, I don't, you know, we just went to the P.O. box, 
and I was going through the mail, and one of them said to Danny on the bottom. So I gave it to him. Hey. <laughs> what was in the envelope? Thirty bucks. Thirty dollars. Hey, well, how, how do you know? You went in my mail? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all right, man. Who, who, sent, who sent the letter? Uh, her name was Robin. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Robin. Heck yeah, we got to forgive me. I had a little spill. I hit some gravel. And Danny's all busted up. Danny. I'm okay. I'm still here. I'm hanging. Just no sore. Tristan, what do you think of Danny? What do you think, I think that he's cool. There you go. There you go. That's my man. Yes, sir. So Danny's all banged up. We was gonna make a video. Danny told me no, don't make it, man. Danny got beat up by the moped. He said, don't make that video. <laughs> and what you doing, Dave? Uh, oh man. Hold on. What you, what you think you? Oh, about? look. Oh, remember when you told to me about the story of this? You were like, it's kind of all over the place, whatever. Yeah. It's based in the future of spider-man it's like yeah i know you're talking about spider-man right now dave but what time is it <laughs> i'm saying hey danny when you at work and you're on that roof yes do y'all be playing spider-man hell no see that's why i'm just trying to bro you're about to have me go manually fill bags of sand i'm not even sure we're doing that this is the um you want this is i mean tristan tristan can play spider-man you want to play spider-man yeah well, there you go hold up hold up hold up is that what you need to do do some sandbags i'll help you even banged up to help you. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Dave, your done. job, boy. Hey, let me just say something real quick, Dave. No, but Dave gets done. He's just got to get the momentum. That's the, the, the Joe, momentum. Joe, don't, got into this, don't this, do this that game to boy. Me, What's it called? Don't, game Boy stuff? It's Game Boy stuff. <laughs> it's Game. I call it something else, but game I ain't going to put it, I mean, I ain't gonna put it out there right now. Yeah. We need to get Danny playing, <laughs> playing a video game. Danny's reaction to video games. I just see it's amazing. I don't know how they do that. Where are we at? We're at the Dollar Tree. All right, that was a total, total waste of time going to Dollar Tree. They never broke out the water, and we ain't got time to wait on it. Danny is not doing good at all right now. Danny's definitely dealing with this, what we're thinking is a concussion, so we're going to try to help him get some rest. And I feel bad. I got to get ready to go help do some sandbags. Dave, you gonna help me do this? Yeah, well, I'm gonna get Tristan out there too. Oh, right, word. Danny, I don't know, brother. I might just have you just chill out and relax for a little while, man, because I don't want to put no extra strain on you. You were definitely going through it, and I, I, I'm literally trying to figure out like what concussion protocol is. Danny fell off his moped earlier, and we we're you know making some jokes about it you know because he was able to laugh and joke about it a little bit it's embarrassing it's happened to me before it's happened to dave before yeah i'm driving and filming uh mind you i just wanted to throw that out there you're not texting uh danny hit his head when this happened so he had his helmet on but he smacked his face he said and he ain't doing too hot <laughs> 